see them pushing on the face, face to face like that. Again, I'm going to strike force and I'm going to strike hard. Yeah. What's up guys and welcome to episode 2 of Street Fight Survival and I am back here again with the one, the only, Hazard Harvey. Full and willing to hurt me all over again. Oh yeah, anytime. So it turns out I'm bad guy number one for the entirety of the series. Yeah, the whole thing. And what this series is, is basically a look at taking some real life MMA strategies, fight strategies and putting them into play to help keep you guys safe on the street. Yes, and we're going to do that as effectively and as safely as we can. In two forms, we're going to give them the break and escape, which is where you're going to be able to get out of your situation and move away without having to deal with any actual face-to-face, hand-to-hand conflict. And then it's also going to be the break and bar, my favourite series. Which is where you've got no other choice but to keep yourself safe by either putting someone down or putting someone out of action to the state where you can then escape and keep those and yourself around you safe. Yes, most definitely. So throughout this series, chances are I'm going to be the bad guy. Hazard's going to be the good guy and he's going to show you what you need to do to create that safe space or to end a dangerous situation and keep you and the people around you safe. So scenario number one and we've probably all been there or definitely seen it. You look up and someone's squaring up to you. So starting with the square up, what we're going to have is the usual. I'm going to be stepping up, I'm getting into his space. So I'm the aggressor, I'm the brawner and I've squared up to Scott. He doesn't know quite why at this point. Maybe it's because his beard's too goddamn beautiful, so I'm not having any of it. A lot of times you'll see them pushing on their face, face to face like that, but we're square up, hips to hips, shoulders to shoulders. What's your initial, initial impact here? So, initially I'm gonna look to try to split my stance. I don't wanna keep my feet square like this, I'm gonna have to stagger my stance, okay? If my feet are square like this, if there's any sort of impact, no balance, I have no balance. Straight away, I step off that center and bring one leg back. From here, I'm gonna put my left hand on his chest. I'm gonna keep this right hand nice and nice and tight like this, okay? I don't wanna keep my hand on my side. And rather than instigating some sort of aggression from him, I'm gonna to look to just hold him in place and step out of range. Okay, from here, again, keeping my hands aware and just being aware of my surroundings. We give ourselves that real easy ability to just slide back, keeping our balance and also dealing with any forward pressure. So there you have it, a real simple way of getting yourself out of that danger zone the moment someone squares up. That's the break and escape. Now, as we all know, things can turn a little bad. We can feel a little more threatened where we have to make sure that we're not the ones that are going to get hurt. Yeah. In that case, we need the break and batter. So I'm going to come at you, aggressive, you're going to step back. As you step back, I look like I'm going to possibly do something. Stepping off, hand on that chest, big, straight right, right hook, straight to that chin. Bam. Okay, right. making sure I'm loaded up on that hand and again, I'm going to strike forced and I'm going to strike hard. Making sure we land a big shot so people around know, obviously if he has any friends or anything around, they know you're not messing around. Bam. Big hook, straight away sliding now range again. You're going to look to that step back, load that weight on the back foot and just make sure it's a strike and move away. And that's all you're going to do, it's a preemptive this. Everything about this is just making sure that you feel safe. So in real time, what it would look like, Okay, so hopefully what's happened is, is you've been able to escape and break away, but we know often that isn't the case because in streets, often what can happen? Uh huh, okay. A lot of times you'll see it's a cheeky shot from behind, a friend comes in and hurts you when you're trying to defuse a situation. What's your option? Me, straight away I've got to check my peripheral, see how many people are around me and where they are. Secondly, I'm making sure I can get myself back on some, so immediately I'm looking back myself up towards a wall. This allows me to obviously see who is coming around me. Yep. It covers my back to make sure no one's coming from, from behind me and also allows me to see exits. I'm gonna to need to see exit options here because obviously I can't hang around. This is our only option. Back up against the wall, hopefully the situation diffuses. Yeah, hopefully you can see an area to get out and then obviously disengage yourself from that situation and stay safe. But obviously now you have your back against the wall and on this one, rather than the break and batter, we're gonna do the break and avoid the batter because you've got a couple of guys coming at you and your main goal is to get out of there. So, yeah, we gotta make sure we get out of here without taking any damage, okay? So in this scenario here, we've got no options. We've gotta to try to get to an exit fast, okay? So from here, I'm gonna eye up who's in front of me and I'm gonna look for the weakest link. 
think we know who that is, okay? So from here, I'm gonna look to sprint off this wall as fast as I can, shoulder barred straight into them, similar to a spear, just shoulder barred straight choke. Yeah. The final one we're gonna take a look at today is the worst case scenario, and that's that maybe there's been a kerfuffle, something's going on, but at the end of it, what has happened is, you've been pushed and ended up on the floor. So we've ended up on the floor, and that is the worst place we want to be. Our goal here is to simply get back to our feet and get back to safety. So, we've ended up here, okay? It's very, very important that we get back to our feet as fast as possible and as safely as possible, okay? So what I'm going to look to do is I'm going to look to use my legs to maintain some sort of range. I'm going to post up on my hand, okay? From here, I'm keeping my other free hand free to block any opposing strikes, anything that could be coming at me, just looking to protect my head, okay? From here, I'm going to lift my hips up. I'm going to bring my leg back. And I'm back to my feet, nice and safe. So we've had the break and escape, and as always, break and batter. Again, we've got to make sure we're getting back to our feet here, and we might not have much space to do so, okay? In order to maintain that range, I'm going to look to use my free leg to strike as hard as I can on that knee joint. Just go straight through it, okay? From here, Posting up on that hand, same thing again, lifting those hips, big back step, and disengage. So in real time, so you guys can see what it'll look like. Comes in, pushes you, gone down, and come in hard. <laughs> Cheers, Harry. No problem. That was a good one. The hazard doing the job. Anytime. So there you go. I think that's three solid ways of dealing with some common situations you see in the street. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully you feel a little more confident in those situations. You at least have an idea now how to keep yourselves safe. We're going to be carrying this on. We're, every time I'm down in Ireland, we're going to be banging out some of these yeah, episodes for yeah. you guys. So let us know in the comments section below whether I still have to be the goddamn bad guy the whole time. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> And what else you'd like to see? Make sure to hit that notification bell. Make sure to check out Hazard Harvey on all his social medias. Links will be in the description and on the screen here. Yeah. Thank you very much again. No problem. Absolute pleasure. Anytime to be here. Anytime. Brilliant. I'm really happy we started this series. We'll see you in the next one. Lately, I've been doing shit different. Cooking like a chef. I've been all up in the kitchen. Had to make a move. Had to make a little distance. A lot of people tripping. They could never see the vision. Fuck that. Tell them bounce.